me. I feel sassy today. I feel real sassy today. Got my red lips. Got my... I was listening to Selena Gomez. I listened to the whole album while putting on this makeup. Whole album. That's how long it took. So this is not an everyday makeup routine. This is literally... I took far too long on this makeup. Hi guys! It's me! I'm back! And I'm shouting really loud and you're probably like, whoa, death to the headphone listeners. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm calming it down. Okay. Well, I'm here with a Christmas video. I mean, you probably could tell by my 4th of July Christmas tree behind you. If you didn't know, all of these ornaments are 4th of July themed. Well, actually, they're marine themed. Ha ha ha! Our marine Christmas tree is really awesome. We got some uh, Merca, we got some marine boots, we got a marine one, we got a helmet, we got a little marine up there, and marine everywhere. If you didn't know, we're a marine family. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, got text messages. Hold the phone. Okay. It's by cute boy. See, so you, your girl had to respond, because cute boys don't often text me so <laughs> anyway I am here today with a kind of glam look for you for when you're going to holiday parties this year when you're like hey ba-bam I showed up and I look fabulous fabulous absolutely absolutely fabulous I showed up to make the boys cry because that's why I'm here because single and here to make the boys cry you're right, that's what you're here for. You're welcome. Um, so I am also trying new products today and I'm super excited. And these will be in my What I Got For Christmas um, tag, whatever video. How, how was that decided? I don't really know. But I got some new products that my mom and Padre, which is Spanish her father if you did not know, right okay but anyway i am trying out the real cheeky party by benefit which comes with the dandelion rocketeer sugar bomb what's up hula bronzer and coralista blush and we're using rocketeer and what's up so i'm using that today um and then the it cosmetics bye bye redness correcting cream as my foundation and i'm not really sure if that's my skin tone so it could be bad um, I know I learned afterwards that my concealer is too white, so you don't have to leave that comment. I figured it out. Concealer first, then Bye Bye Redness. I used the Sheer Envy Primer, Color Correcting Primer by Hard Candy today, which is like $8 at the drugstore. So if you uh, like this, which did calm my skin down, I actually used it twice because the original clip was not filming, so sue me, but it does calm down my face. If you have seen my makeupless face in other videos and you know I have a lot of redness on my face I have a little bit of rosacea and I have acne because I feel like this is Aquafina that smells really really good I got the Smashbox photo finish primer water and um, priming mist to create sheerest canvas for makeup hydrate skin for hours and revitalize complexion and boost radiance thought I'd give this bad boy a try because like everybody and their mother has been and I actually really like it. It makes my skin feel like really, I don't know, I don't know. I like it, I like it, I like it. You'll see if, if you like it by the end of this video. But I used those today and then a few of the things that I got last Christmas that I really liked. So um, yeah, that's what I thought I'd let you know. But these will be in my what I got for Christmas video because those are just products I'm using now because my mom pretty much gave me all of my Christmas presents before Christmas. So if you would like an early like 
what I've already gotten for Christmas video, give this video a thumbs up and I will post that. And then what I actually am given under the tree, I'll post that one too. And we can just do like a twofer what I got for Christmas. Because I have other people who are going to give me things for Christmas too. And I have like, like four bags under the Christmas tree to open on actual Christmas day that I wrapped myself. So that's funny. Okay. Anyways. Let's get started on the video, and if you are interested in following me on any of my links after the video, those are all down below. My last video is down below. Just give your girl a holler. Okay, but that's all I have for you. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, enjoy the video. Bye! To start off my makeup look, I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Sheer and the Primer Color Correcting in the green shade and just leather that all over my face and this is just going to even out my complexion and cancel out any redness and next I am going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and then moving along I am using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream and I'm actually using this as my foundation and like I stated in the intro I realized after I put on this foundation that it is a smidge <laughs> darker than my concealer and I should definitely conceal before I use this as a foundation just because my concealer is so bright compared to this as a foundation so I am just going to blend that out and it really does correct any redness on your face. I just had some major pimples today. So I'm just using a stippling, a stippling brush to blend that out. And the stippling brush is by BH Cosmetics. And then next I went in with the Illuminator um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles underneath my eyes and blended that out with my ring finger. And I also went over this with my Master Concealer um, by Maybelline. New York in the color 10 Fair just over in the corner underneath where my dark circles are just to lighten that up a little bit and I also use that concealer as a spot concealer and as you can tell it is much lighter than this foundation and you can tell for the rest of this video that it is way too light for this foundation and I should have gone for a darker concealer but I was not prepared <laughs> so you don't have to leave that in the comments below because I already know but I'm just going to blend that out with my ring finger. I just feel like that it makes it a lot easier to work with and it makes it a lot better with blending and I tend to blend with clean fingers so my acne does not get worse. So I'm just blending and going back. And then next I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 100 Translucent and just patting that onto my skin to um, make my face matte. And then I'm using the Banana Powder Lyric and the Kat Bundy Shade and Light 
palette and I am also going in and contouring with Sombre and Shadow Play from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I've been using this palette for quite some time now and I just love that for contouring. So I'm just going to make my contour game on fleek and contour my forehead, contour my hairline, contour my cheeks, contour my nose, just get that contour game going. Yes, girl. And then next I am using the Real Cheeky Party by Benefit and using Rocketeer on my cheeks. And I really love the consistency of the Benefit blushes. I just feel like they're so nice. And I really need to get into using Hoola Blonzer now that I got a sample of that. But so far, I'm really loving all of the consistencies of their blushes. So this is just me putting on blush. I make wonderful faces during this clip, let me tell you. Like, beautiful faces. And then, this is my, this is the cutest sample ever face, and I'm just putting Watts Up at the high points of my face, and then I actually go back after this clip, and I go back in with Sunbeam, because I forgot that I had pulled it out, and I just love Sunbeam. But I'm going to put Watts Up on my chin, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose, and my forehead, just because I feel like it's such a pretty champagne -y color, and then I put Sunbeam on the kind of high points of my cheeks and just blended that in but I just I'm in love with benefit right now just just all the benefit why why can't I live at benefit yes and this is just my really happy I have makeup on my face now and then I am using the Milani eyeshadow primer um, in 01 nude and priming my eyes These are just beautiful shots of me doing my eyes. And I just run my primer along the bottom of my lashes as well as my top lashes just to make sure that the eyeliner will stay at all points of my eyes. And next we are moving on to brows and I'm using Maybelline's Brow Precision or Brow Precise and Maybelline's Brow Drama um, in Soft Brown to pencil in my brows and to um, keep my brows in place with the brow gel and I don't know if my brows are in fleek you can tell me in the comments below but I just I kind of I'm kind of winging it with my brows I don't really know And then next I'm going in with my New Dude Volume 2 eyeshadow palette by The Balm and I'm just putting Fearless all over my eyelids. And then I'm going back in with Flawless in the crease. I'm just blending flawless in the crease. And then I actually went back through and put a little bit of flirty, which is this really, really pretty um, purpley, like light purple, almost purpley champagne color all over my lid. The first color was like a champagne color. Um, and um, and then I put a, a matte brown in the crease and then I put a purpley champagne on the lid and then I went back with the color fine which is a very kind of smoky dark brown and I put that just on the outer V and for this I actually pat the eyeshadow onto my lid and then I go back and blend so it looks kind of terrible right now but I'm patting the eyeshadow onto my eyes 
and then I'm going to go back with a clean brush and blend it in so that all the colors kind of go seamlessly. It looks so much better after it's blended, but at first it looks really crazy. Um, but I blend it all in and then, you know, remove any fallout with my hands. So I'm just blending, blending, blending. I find that using a darker color on my outer V actually makes my eyes look bigger. So I'm just showing you on this side, I am um, putting the darker shade also um, on the top part as eyeliner just because I feel like it makes my eyeliner when I go on and put my gel liner on in the next clip. Uh, I just find that it makes it sit a little better so I'm um, smoking out my outer V and adding more and then I'm going over the top and putting Fabulous which is just a white powder underneath my brow bone and then this is me trying to do winged eyeliner on camera and I'm using the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black and that is hard let me tell you it is hard to do that without a mirror you can see my like shock every time I don't stab myself in the eye so this is me trying to do <laughs> you can see me mouth this is terrifying this is this is awful Alright, let's do this. I believe in you, Sam. I believe in you. Oh, are we gonna do it? Yes. Yes. All the way. All the way. They don't look even. That was awful. <laughs> I just find this so funny. I don't know why. I'm like, this is awful. These look terrible. The, no. <laughs> I just find this clip so funny. I just I feel like this should be clips of a hall of shame right now. Like, this is just, I, yes. Hall of shame of YouTubers. Next, I'm just going to apply some of Fabulous, which we had as under brow highlight, and just pat that onto my um, corners of my eyes. What is that called? Oh my goodness, there's a word for that, but it's the corners of my eyes, just to brighten the corners of my eyes up, and then I am applying the um, Body Builder Mascara by The Balm. Um, I got this with my Nude Dudes Volume 2, and I just kind of re in love with it. It's a wonderful, buildable mascara. Um, I just feel like it, 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 just, it does what it's supposed to do, so I like that. So I do a couple coats of that, and then next I am going in with my Maybelline New York lip liner, and this is just a random red lip liner that I have that I don't even have the name of anymore. I think it's just like a red, it's literally 50 red. Um, and then next I am going in with the Kate lipstick in 111 Kiss of Life by... Busting Finish by Kate Lipstick from Rimmel London right after that and just giving you a really nice glossy red lip for your holiday festivities. And I will tell you the lip liner I used was the driest lip liner possible. It was not creamy, it took forever to get on and it was just... It, it was hell. So I do not recommend, 1010, do not recommend this lip liner. But the Kate lipstick was wonderful. Um, and it lasted for a really long time. I drank like an entire Diet Coke and it was everywhere, but it lasted. It stained my lips. And after the lipstick, that's really all I have for you. Um, I think I'm just shocked that I didn't get lipstick all over my teeth at this point. But um, <laughs> after the lipstick, that is the completed look. That is the smoky eye and lipstick and glamified look, which is super glam for me. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, I suggest some setting spray, but I forgot mine at this point. Um, that's all I have for you, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. All my links are below, and on this last slide, have a great day. Bye! is packed or the strings of light are broken I don't care if the gift
gifts are wrapped, or there's nothing here to 